Hi, my name is Boris, and in this tutorial, I'm about to show you a very cool way of modulating and adding interest to your synthesizer pads. We're going to use Ableton's stock EQ8, as well as the Max for Life LFO, which is included in Ableton Live Suite. You should already have it. And I've prepared a super simple loop. This is a race sort of bass. It's actually a preset that comes from Ableton. And this is a super simple analog pad with my chord generator. By the way, uh, our chord generator video should be linked in the description. And I have basically copied the bass onto this track and added a chord with this MIDI device. And this is what it sounds like. First, I'm going to play it without the effect that we're going to be making today. And then I will enable it. So let's give it a listen. And just before we get into the details, if you like what we are doing, consider subscribing for more Ableton Live tips like this one. Creating something like this is very, very simple. I'm going to disable this and we'll create this sort of rack from scratch. To start off, let's drag an EQ8 here. So from audio effects, I'm going to choose EQ8 and we need only two curves. So let's just choose the first two. The first one, we need that to be a bell and the second one, we need it to be a notch. And basically all we're gonna do is modulate the frequencies of these two curves with LFOs. So let's drag an LFO from audio effects and I'm going to map this to the frequency of one of these. Maybe let's drag down the rate, now it's slower, and uh, let's duplicate it. I'm going to remove this mapping from the second one and map it to the frequency of the first curve. And there you go. And it should already sound pretty similar. You can always mess around with the rates or with the gain of these curves and that's it. You can group it with command G, you can save it under a name. So for example, let's uh, make it pad modulation and you can save it into your library. Just a quick break before we go back to the tutorial. If you find these type of videos helpful, we can highly recommend the PML Academy with over 35 full-length online courses spreading over topics like writing chords and melodies or arranging your songs to producing entire songs from start to finish. So check out the link in the description to see what's inside the All Courses bundle exactly. And the second technique you can also use if you're in a hurry or you're just looking for a slightly different effect is using an auto filter. And the auto filter has a really cool function called morphing. And basically with the morph function, you can blend between various curves. So between the low pass, high pass, band pass and notch. So this is what it looks like. You need to select the last curve over here and mess around with the morphing. You can automate it. I have automated it like this. So it goes up all the way here and down all the way here. Let's just hear what this sounds like. To me, it's really, really cool. You can also use this with an LFO. So for example, you can copy one of these. If you don't want to do the automation, you can just map an LFO to the morph and it's going to work. Yeah, so that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Consider checking out our Music Production Academy because we've got start to finish courses for both beginners and more advanced producers. Subscribe and hit the notification bell and I will see you in the next videos. Bye.